Hi there. Welcome to this math strategy video. We're going to show you how to solve different problems. Today, we're going to look at multiplying using place value. We're going to try three problems. 15 times 7, 124 times 6, and if you're really brave, 253 times 62. We'll use place value cubes to do this. Let's get started. 15 times 7 may seem like a really difficult problem, but it's actually pretty simple if you know the right method. We're going to break this problem down using place value. I'm going to start with my 15 right there. But I'm not going to multiply it all at one time. I know in 15 I've got a 10 and I've got a 7, or sorry, a 5. So I can do 10 groups of 7, or, ten, or 7 groups of 10, and I can do 5 times 7. So let's try 10 times 7 first. So I've got my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I know that 10 times 7 is 70. And then I'm going to do my 5 times 7. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now I know that if I've got two fives, five and five is ten, so I'm going to swap that out for a ten, I'm going to swap those two fives for a ten, swap these two fives for a ten. So I know I've got five times seven is thirty-five. So putting that all together, I've got my ten tens, which is a hundred. So I've got one hundred and I've got 5, so I have 105. 15 times 7 equals 105. So this method can be expanded to even bigger numbers. For example, 124 times 6. So I can break that down to 100 times 6, and 20 times 6, and 4 times 6. 100 times 6, we know 1 times 6 is 6, so 100 times 6 equals 600. 20 times 6, we know that 2 times 6 is 12, so then that would be 12, 10, so 120. We know that 4 times 6 equals 24, so we just need to add up 600 plus 120 plus 24, and we know that will be four ones, four tens, and seven hundreds. 253 times 62 might seem insanely difficult, but if you break it down with the way I'm about to show you, these problems are actually quite simple, although they might take a little bit of time. So basically, you want to make a grid. So across the top, I'm going to write 200, 50, and 3, breaking down my 253. Across the side, I'm going to write 60 and 2, and I'm going to draw a grid here. So in each box, I'm going to multiply each of the numbers by themselves, each other, sorry. So 2 times 3 is pretty easy, 6. 2 times 50 is 100, and 2 times 200 is 400. It gets a little tricky as we move up in these bigger numbers. 60 times 3, so 6 times 3 is 18, so it will be 180. 6 times 5 is 30, so that will be 30, and then 0, 0, 3,000. 6 times 2 is 12, and then 3 more zeros, so 12,000. So across here I have 12,000 plus 3,000 plus 180. So that's 15,000, since there's no um, hundreds, tens, or, th or ones here, um, and 180. Okay, 400 plus 100 is 500, plus another 6 is 506. So I then need to add 15,180 plus 506. I've got 0 ones plus 6 ones, so that's 6 ones. I've got 0 tens plus 8 tens, 80. Um, I've got 100 plus 500, 600, 
and there are no thousands or ten thousands here, so it's fifteen thousand. So fifteen thousand six hundred eighty-six is our answer. That's a difficult question, but if you break it down, it becomes much simpler. That helped. After I'm done talking, I'm going to put up some problems on the screen for you to practice. Pause the video and try the problems. When you're done, unpause the video and check your answers. If you don't understand something in this video, go back and watch parts of it again. You can use the timestamps on the bottom of the video to find the different problems.